Hey guys, I am Vikash and welcome back to this another After Effects tutorial. In today's tutorial, let's create a nice and simple title animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugins. So let's take a new project and get started. Alright, so click on this new composition and let's call it main comp. And set the size of this composition 1920 by 1080. Let's go with 60 frames per second and set the duration of this composition maybe around 10 seconds. And hit enter. And let's create one more composition. So go to composition, new composition, and let's call it title in. And set it 1920 by 1080, frame rate 60, and set the duration of this composition maybe around 5 seconds long. And hit enter and let's type a text over here so select this text tool and go to this character if you can't see this character then go to window and check this option character all right and now select your favorite font style so in this case I'm using this Android font style and I will provide a link in the description for this font style so you can download this font style from that link if you want and now set the size of this font 125 pixel and set this tracking amount 0 and hit enter and let's type over here whatever we want to type so I'm typing title animation and set this text in center so go to align if you can't see this alignment then go to window and check this option align all right and now click on this align horizontally and click on this align vertically basically set this text in center all right and now select this move tool and hit ctrl r to open this ruler and set a guide in the center of this text something like this all right and now i'm going to create a rectangular shape so click over here and select this rectangle tool and set this field to solid color and set this stroke to none and let's create a rectangular shape something like that and now i'm going to use this rectangular shape as a track mat so right click on that click on rename and let's call it mat and hit enter and let's close this and now select this text and change the track mat if you can't see this track mat then click on this toggle switchage and change this track mat to alpha mat and now our text is only visible in this rectangular area so just select these both layer hit ctrl d to duplicate and now select this second text layer and change this alpha mat to alpha inverted mat and now we have a complete text but this is divided into two part as you can see and now let's animate this text so select this both text layer hit p on the keyboard to open this position property and go to around three second and click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on position property and go to around one second and set this on right hand side over here maybe and set this text on left hand side over here and now let's play this and as you can see we have a text animation something like this all right now let's close this and let's create a rectangular shape around this text so click over here and go to this rectangle tool and change this rounded rectangle tool and let's create a rectangle according to the text so just set this field to solid color and turn off this stroke and let's create a rectangle shape something like this and now let's call it shape hit enter and let's align this in center so go to alignment and click on this align horizontally click on this align vertically and now select this pan behind tool and set this anchor point in the center of this rectangular shape and now select this move tool and drag this and hit ctrl r to close this ruler all right and now drag this shape layer below this text and open this rectangle open this rectangle path and 
go to around three second and click on this unlink button and unlink this x y size and set this x value maybe around 1400 all right and set this y size 160 and hit enter and set this roundness value 100 and hit enter and it's looking something like this now select the shape and change this field to none and set this stroke to solid color and set this stroke 10 pixel and now let's animate this shape so select the shape and go to around three second and click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on size property and go to on one second and set this x size value and create a circle so i'm going to set this value 160 and hit enter and as you can see it's looking like a perfect circle all right now let's close this and hit s on the keyboard to open this a scale property and go to around frame number 30 which is equal to half a second and click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on a scale property and go to very beginning of this animation and set this scale value 0% and hit enter and let's play this again so as you can see we have a very basic and weird animation all right so let's make some more interesting animation so select all these layer hit u on the keyboard to open these active keyframes and select all these keyframes and hit f9 on the keyboard to easy ease them and go to your graph editor if your graph editor not looking like this then right click on that and click on this edit a speed graph and now select this point hold this handle and create a curve like that and select this point hold this handle and create a curve like that and then close this graph editor and close this layer and let's play this again all right so it's looking nice and now let's apply a gradient ramp effect on this shape layer so select the shape layer go to effect generate and add a gradient ramp effect on it and now select this gradient point and set this in corner and select this gradient point and set this in the corner like that and now let's select a nice gradient color so pick this point and pick this purple color maybe and pick this one and pick this sky blue color and hit ok and as you can see it's looking nice and now select all this layer right click on that click on pre-compose and check this option move all attributes and let's call it first title and hit ok and go to project window and select this first title hit ctrl d to duplicate and right click on that rename and let's call it second title and hit enter and drag the second title into this composition and select the second title hit s on the keyboard to open this scale properties and set this scale value maybe 40 percent hit enter and hit p on the keyboard to open this position properties and set this position over here maybe and now let's close this and now open this second title and select this text layer open this and open this text and let's parent this source text with this main layer source text so pick this pick whip and let's attach this with main layer source text something like this and let's close this and now let's select this layer and let's change the text so select this text tool click over here hit ctrl a to select all and let's type your second title so i'm typing tutorial and now let's fit this text according to the shape so select this text layer and go to this character and set this tracking amount and fit this text according to the shape so set this tracking amount maybe 400 and hit enter all right 
Now select this shape and select this move tool and change this field to solid color and change this stroke to none and hit OK and then go to your title in and as you can see it's looking something like this and now I want to create a time gap between both the titles so set this CTI on one second and drag this second title on this one second all right and let's play this again so as you can see it's looking much more better and now select the second title hit P on the keyboard to open this position property and go to on to second and click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on position property and go to on for second and set this X position over here and now select these keyframes hit F9 to easy ease them and go to your graph editor select this point hold this handle and create a graph like that and close this graph editor and let's close this all right and let's play this again so as you can see it's looking much more better all right and then go to your main composition and let's import title in into this main composition and as you can see this is our title in so let's create a title out so select this title hit ctrl d to duplicate and overlap this layer around one second something like this and right click on this layer and go to time and click on time reverse layer all right and let's play this again so this is our title in and now this is our title out animation all right now let's trim this work area composition so right click on that click on trim comp area and now let's apply this text on a background so go to project window right click on that go to import file and select your image file that you want to import so in this case i'm using this image and i have downloaded this from pixabay.com and i will provide a link in the description so you can download this image from that link if you want and click on import and now drag this image into this main composition and let's apply some effect on it so go to effect and preset and search for tint effect and let's apply this tint effect on this image and make it black and white and let's add a scale animation on it so hit s on the keyboard to open this scale property and go to the end of this animation and click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on a scale property and go to very beginning of this animation and set this scale value maybe 125 percent and hit enter and as you can see we have a scale animation on it all right and finally select this image hit t on the keyboard to open this opacity and set this opacity maybe 15 percent and hit enter and as you can see it's almost done so let's have a look so go to very beginning and go to full screen click on fit and let's play this animation all right guys so it's looking awesome and that's all for this tutorial i hope you like it if you like it then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified when i will upload my new video and i will see you in next tutorial till then bye bye